remember driving away from the hospital that night thinking to myself, holy shit, dude, your life has just changed. Welcome to the Business of Parenting podcast. Tune in as we discuss the principles of successful parenting as a business professional. Here's your host, Jason Harris. I learned I learned it very early in in when I started, and this was even I wasn't working for myself. I was mm-hmm. I was um, I was working in another business at the time. That the way I think, well, I'll I'll, I'll tell you a story, and I'm sure you can I'm sure you can relate to this, Jason. Mm-hmm. So when you know for when when you when you're expecting your first child. It's an exciting experience, right? Yeah. You, you know, you you you're doing everything in preparation. You you know, you're getting you're getting all of the ducks in a row and the house ready, and and it's all it's all you know it's you're all working up to this massive crescendo, mm-hmm. and you know our much better halves feel it because obviously you know they they're intimately <laughs> um, involved in the in the in the process, right? But from a from a from a from my point of view from a from the from the father point of view uh, or non-birthing parent i think they say these days um it didn't really dawn on me just how real being a parent was until my wife heather had given birth to lily um and they were in the hospital and they said all right everyone needs some rest dad go home um, and I drove away. From, I remember driving away from the hospital that night, thinking to myself, "Holy shit, dude, your life has just changed." And it had changed. You know, I've, I had. You know, we had like everyone. You have nine, ten months to get used to the idea. But geez, it didn't get real until that moment, that time. And yes. from then, from then on, I reckon my management style changed. Because that person that I was managing was somebody's son, somebody's daughter. Yes. Um, you know, there was a not that there wasn't respect for that relationship beforehand, but geez, it exponentially increased afterwards. Um, can there, you remember a similar I do. time? I, you know what? I when remember. Your I was, was actually born? I was actually just talking to uh, a young dealer principal the other day. Uh, shout out to Tanner if he's listening to this, um, and he's expecting his first. And, and, and he's like, man, do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? I'm like, of course, absolutely. Go for it. Right. Um, he's like, well, like, what was like the first day? Like, I'm like the first day was a total just mind fuck. Honestly, that's exactly <laughs> what I mean. It was, it was somehow I couldn't almost physically remember, you know, the, you know, the 20 some odd years that happened prior you know, to, to, it didn't, to, it, to her, it wasn't to important, up. was it? It wasn't, it was like, it was, it was almost like a, even though it was only a day, less than 24 hours. Mm. I, honestly, I, I don't know if I could even, it almost just felt like a distant memory. Everything that happened up to that point was literally just a distant memory. And it is yeah. like literally yeah. my whole world restarted, you know, from that point. And it's interesting now, since you kind of bring this up, because I think this is a good segue to, into our next topic was is you know in the beginning it was um i mean obviously i knew where my time was right like it was just spend as much humanly as much time as humanly possible with this little being you know and i find over time i'll be completely honest with you cameron that that kind of faded away and and honestly by our third child luke um you know Uh, The first two years, I I honestly don't think I was really around. Thanks for tuning in to the Business of Parenting podcast with your host, Jason Harris. Don't want to miss new content? Be sure to check out the full podcast library at strategywithjason.com to stay in the know. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Happy podcasting.